All right, welcome back to another episode of Power 5 Picks. We have USC and our first ever ranked team in college bowl season, number 15, Louisville. This is today at 8 p.m. Eastern time in San Diego. Louisville is a six and a half point favor in this game. The over under is sitting at 58 and a half. Now I do have a play in this game. I'm debating on betting it, but it's just it's just very gross and I, I don't love it at all. So um, biggest story in this game is Caleb Williams is out for USC. We all know that he's probably going to be the first or second overall draft pick. We also have um, USC's number one wide receiver is out. Um, also, number four wide receiver is out. Um, from Louisville, we have their top running back is out as well their, as their top wide receiver. Nothing much on defense on either side of the ball here. This line also might be changing a little bit. I saw seven before we got on here, so I'm not sure if it's at six and a half or seven. So just make sure you check um, what that line is at. But I'm just going to go here. I think it's pretty obvious to take Louisville at the minus six and a half. Since they're the ranked team, they are 10 and three compared to seven and five USC. You know, they're number 15 in the country. USC is unranked. You look at USC, their quarterbacks out, their running backs out, their wide receivers out. A lot of people out for USC. I think everyone's just going to hammer Louisville. The fact he can get Louisville under a touchdown right now is kind of surprising in my book. So, as gross as I hate it, as much as I hate this freaking team, I got to take USC on the spread here. And I think, and again, I can't comprehend if these plays are sharp or what, what's going on, but. I can't see too many people taking USC, especially under a touchdown on this. So I'll take a shot, take those stupid fraud Trojans. Maybe since Caleb Williams is gone, they might start winning games. But that's kind of where my head's at. And again, I don't love it, but I think that's I think that's the play. How about you? Yeah, first of all, squares could be at like the over because I'm never, <laughs> oh, ever, yeah. ever taking an under in a USC game. And 58 and a half, I mean, it seems so easy. I'm sure it goes under, but. There's no, zero chance I play in under in a USC game, so I would take the over. Um, I like USC quite a bit, actually. God damn! I, I just don't. I don't know if I can bet it. I really don't. But uh, basically, Louisville lost their last two games of the season. They were a one-loss team before the last two, so uh, they kind of had higher hopes. Just as of a couple weeks ago, a month ago. Um, kind of got shattered in the last two games, especially losing to Florida State without um, Jordan Travis in the lineup for Florida State. Uh, so I think that one was just kind of a crushing loss for them. USC, on the other hand, I mean, we all know what happened to USC. They just blew it down the stretch, lost five of their last six. Um, a couple of just really tough losses in there. Did not look good defensively. Couldn't stop anybody. Uh I honestly think Caleb Williams out might be a positive for this team. And I I don't know this, but I get the feeling the players don't really like Caleb Williams that much. I mean, I don't like Caleb Williams that much. I don't know many people that do really like Caleb Williams. I think they are probably going to play hard for this new, this freshman quarterback that they have. I think his name is Miller Moss. I think the team rallies around him. I think they kind of want to, I don't know, kind of stick it to Caleb Williams. I know we've talked about Caleb enough, but. I know he's kind of had one foot in the NFL door this whole season. It obviously showed uh, he sucked down the stretch of the season. Uh, I think his players know that. His coaches know that. I think they're probably kind of fed up with him. And I, I, yeah, I just think they're going to want to come out here, get a nice statement win with a new quarterback, maybe the face of the future for USC. Um, and, yeah, I think Louisville's just kind of deflated after their last two losses. So I like USC quite a bit. I think they win it outright. Yeah, that's what I was nervous you were going to say, because <laughs> I told you before the show that the one bet, if you didn't watch um, the episode prior to this, make sure you do check that one out, because me and Ethan did just place a bet on um, our one of our favorite bets in that game. So make sure you check out that Duke's Mayo preview. But this was the other one I was talking about before the show. I I, I'm, I think this is the play. So um, I'll probably end up betting it because I have no self-control. self, -contr self but um, yeah, I think there might be some value in USC in this game. Um but that's all I got. I did forget to mention this is the Holiday Bowl, and it's at San Diego, California. I forgot to mention the bowl name and the uh, location. So slight advantage for, or I guess major advantage for USC on the um, distance traveled. But if you know you, anything about USC, fans don't even come to their home game. So no USC fans are going to be there, especially a 7-5 and five USC team in a Holiday Bowl. Get out of town. But, um, yeah, I'll, I'll probably end up betting USC. So I'm glad we agree. Again, we are both pretty ice cold, so take that for what you will. Um, we have one more game on tonight's slate. Um, check our next episode out on that one. And again, we have a full slate on Thursday, full slate on Friday. And then we get into the big boy games on Saturday and Monday. So make sure you check out every single preview we have for our, our college bowl season on our YouTube page, Better in Green. 
Um, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I really appreciate you guys. And we'll see you in our next episode. You better start listening to the Better in Green podcast. You will not regret it. Trust me, trust me, trust me. And hey, I'm Dean Blandino. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Better in Green. Eh? To Better in Green. Eh? To Better in Green. Hey, listen in and cash out. That's what it's all about. Come on, let's make cash now. We always on spot and we cover old spot from the bottom to the top. Hey, shout out to Ethan, shout out to Wyatt, shout out to Ben. Welcome, welcome to our podcast. Better win green.